Okay, so I want to look at the Lesson 11-1 homework area of triangles and parallelograms. Uh, number one, it says find the perimeter and area of each parallelogram or triangle round to the nearest tenth if necessary. So uh, the area of the parallelogram or area of the parallelogram, it's area equals base times the height. Remember the base times base and the height, they are perpendicular to each other. And then for the area of a triangle, it's one half base times the height. So looking at number one over here, I'm going to go find the uh, perimeter of this figure. Remember, the perimeter of this is basically you're adding up all the sides here. Note that we're dealing with a parallelogram. So opposite sides are congruent and opposite sides are parallel. So if this side here is 15, and then that means that the opposite side here is also 15. If this side here is 13, then its opposite side is also 13. So 13 inches, inches... Okay, so there you go. Now, all I have to do is just add up all the sides for the perimeter. So I'm adding these two 15s and these two 13. So I have 2 times 13 plus 2 times 15. And the perimeter is uh, 56 inches. 56 inches. Now, the next thing that I'm going to look for is the area of this parallelogram, the same parallelogram. So area is equal to base times the height. The base of the figure should be perpendicular to the height. But I, I know what the base here is, that's 15. So A equals 15, and then the height is our unknown. You're going to have to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this one because we have a right triangle here. I have a side. I have the hypotenuse. I'm just missing this one side length here. This looks like a triple. It's 5, 12, 13. Okay, because a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to 13 squared. So your height is 12 inches. So 15 times 12, 15 times 12 is 180. So 180 inches squared, and that's your answer. Okay, so I'm going to redo number four. Uh, so first of all, we have a parallelogram. Opposite sides are congruent. So if this side here is 23, then that means that its opposite side is also 23. Um, we have a right triangle here where one of the angles is 45 degrees. And this is 90 because uh, the base is perpendicular to the height, so they intersect at a 90-degree angle. So that means if I have a 45-degree angle and a 90-degree angle, that means that that leftover there is 45 degrees. So then across from 45 degrees, this is A... And this is A, and this is A root 2. And if this here is 5, that means the, the height is also 5. And then over here, this is going to be 5 root 2. All right? So A equals base times the height. So the area is equal to the base, which is 23. Not 5, by the way. It's 23. Times the height, which is 5. So the area is equal to 115 meters squared. To find the perimeter, all you got to do is you're going to add up all the side lengths here. This is 23. This is 23. This is 5 root 2. So this has to be 5 root 2 as well. So add up all the sides. I notice I have two 23s plus 2, 5 root 2. And this is where you're going to use your calculator to find the perimeter. Um, so... And whenever we're adding uh, square roots, just put it all in your calculator so you can get that decimal. I don't want to leave my answer in terms of radicals or in terms of a square root. That's just going to be messy. So you're going to do uh, 2 times 23. And then you're going to close the parentheses. Plus 2 times second 
Uh, no, just kidding. 2 times 5, and this is where I'm going to press second x squared so I can get that radical there. And then 2, close the parentheses, and then you're going to hit enter. Look at that. You have the perimeter, which is 60.1421 and so on and so forth. But we are going to round to the nearest tenth on this one. So your answer should be approximately 60.1 meters. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at number six. This one, um, I'm not going to do the whole process here, but you're going to be using double Pythagorean theorem for this one. Uh, because here's your right triangle. You're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out uh, this side length here. And remember, C is this side length because it's across from the 90-degree angle. Okay, so you're basically solving for one of the missing legs here. And once you find that missing leg, you're going to apply the Pythagorean theorem again to find this uh, hypotenuse so that you can find the perimeter of that figure. And also, since you have this uh, height, since you have the height here from the first Pythagorean theorem, you can also find the area of this triangle using the formula A equals one-half base times height. Okay, A equals one-half base times height. And then number nine, um, this is where you're working backwards, and that's also number eight as well. You're going to be applying the segment addition postulate for this one. Part plus part is equal to a whole. So 11 plus what is going to give you this whole thing here, 41. And once you find that, once you find this side length here or the base, you're going to... Multiply that by the height, so what's the height, and set it equal to 165, okay? And then you're going to figure out um, what x is equal to. All right, uh, this one's weird because it says find the perimeter or area on your homework, but I expect you to do both of them. So that was a typo there. So find the perimeter and area of each parallelogram or triangle round to the nearest tenth if necessary. All right. So All righty. So this is take number two on number 20 because I saw a mistake that I uh, made on the original. So I'm going to have to redo this problem and edit it and then re-upload. Um, yeah, that was a really, really big mistake on my part. Uh, but let's go ahead and do number 20. The height of a parallelogram is four centimeters more than the base. If the area of the parallelogram is 45, find the base and the height. Okay, so what do I know? I know that we're dealing with the area of the parallelogram. So it's A equals base times the height. I love the fact that the area is already given, so I'm going to replace A with 45, which is equal to base times height. But I'm looking, I don't see an actual value of the base, and I don't see a value of the height. The only given information that I have here is this. The height of a parallelogram is 4 centimeters more than the base. So 4 centimeters more than the base. That's the height. Do we know what the actual value of the base is? No. So I'm going to say B for base. That's our unknown. Or, or I should say B is equal to X because we don't know what the value of the base is. It's unknown. So I'm going to say B is equal to X. So B is some sort of number. And the height is equal to 4 centimeters more than the base. So it's 4 plus x. So I can go ahead and replace b and h. So b is x, and then h is 4 plus x. So then, look, I have x times the quantity 4 plus x. This is where I'm going to apply the distributive property. So 45 equals 4x plus x squared. And let me just rewrite this as 45 equals x squared plus 4x. And then I'm going to rewrite that again. So I have um, x squared plus 4x equals 45. So now this is something that uh, I, 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 I notice is something that's familiar. All I got to do here is I'm going to subtract both sides by 45. 
This is where I'm going to factor. So x squared plus 4x minus 45 equals 0. And then draw my x. Negative 45 goes up top. 4 goes on the bottom. And what are the two numbers that multiply together that will give me negative 45 and add up to 4? I'm thinking 9 and negative 5. Because 9 times negative 5 is negative 45, and 9 plus negative 5 is indeed 4. So I'm going to rewrite this as x plus 9 times x minus 5 equals 0. So x equals negative 9, and x equals 5. And I want the positive x value, so circle x equals 5. And then we're going to go back to figure out what the base is and what the height is. Okay, so the base is x, but that's really 5 centimeters. And then the height is 4 plus x, so that's 9 centimeters. So there you go. We figure out the base and we figure out the height. Okay, number 22, it says the height of a triangle is 3 meters less than its base. If the area of the triangle is 44 square meters, find its base and the height. So, uh, same idea as uh, number 20, except you're dealing with a triangle. So, you're going to be using the formula A equals 1 half BH, or area is equal to 1 half base times the height. Uh, this right here, uh, it says that the height of a triangle is 3 meters less than its base. So we don't know what the base is. That's going to be our unknown. And the height is 3 meters less than its base. So we represent that as x minus 3. So plug everything in, find the area, and then you should be good to go. Find the base and the height while you're at it, okay? Number 23, it says use Haran's formula to find the area of a triangle with side lengths 7, 10, and 4. Uh, the Haran's formula, by the way, it's A equals the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. So S represents the, um, the semi-perimeter. So S is the semi-perimeter, and it's basically all the sides divide by 2. Okay, so these things are your side lengths. So find the semi-perimeter and then divide by 2. And once you find the semi-perimeter, you're going to plug it into the Haran's formula or Heron's formula. I don't know how to pronounce it. But once you plug it in, you should find the area of a triangle where you're not given the height. That's what Haran's formula is. Haran's formula is basically, it's basically trying to find the area of a triangle where you're not given the height but you're only given the side lengths, okay? So you can refer back to your notes on this one. And then for B, it says that show that the areas found for a 5, 12, 13 right triangle are the same using Haran's formula and using the triangle area formula. A is equal to 1 half base times height. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half of this uh, uh, problem where I'm just going to give you the right triangle should look like this, 5, 12, 13, and there should be a 90-degree angle there to indicate that that triangle is a right triangle. And you're going to use the formula A equals 1 half base times height for this one. So A is equal to 1 half the base, which is 12, and the height, which is 5. 12 and 5, they're perpendicular to each other. Okay, so A equals 60, um, 60, we're going to say units squared on this one because no units are uh, involved or specific units. So we're just going to be, we're going to do something generic and say that it's the area is equal to 60 units squared. Okay, so I did half of this step. Your goal here is to use that Haran's formula and see if you get the same answer as well. I recommend that you uh, plug everything in and then use your calculator because you've got to practice using your calculator when it comes to Haran's and see if you get the same answer. 
hopefully you get 60 units square as well okay all right uh that'll be it from me and um i'll see you next time